Hey guys, how's it going? Preparing here, coming at you with another late night video. Uh, so I've been spending most of my day playing some Diablo 3's because 1.0.4 came out today and I was pretty excited to play it and justifiably so because it was pretty awesome. Um, you know, when I play Diablo 3, at least lately, I gauge it on the snoozo meter. So before 1.0.4, uh, I could not do one full Act 3 clear. Uh, without yawning at least once and after two clears I would literally fall asleep um, You know when I play other games didn't have the same effect. I play savage. No problem play pet picks out. No problem um, Diablo 3 act 3 farming Terrible terrible on the snoozo meter. I just fall asleep immediately and I'm, I'm being serious uh, So today I played some uh, Diablo 3. Uh, I went through all the le uh, legendaries and whatnot see what all the changes are I'll talk about that in a second, but primarily Good news, when I was playing, just this extra little incentive, this Paragon level action, um, it, made me, it made me stay awake during Act 3 clears uh, when I was doing them solo. I did like 4 or something, maybe even 5, and I was, I was okay. I didn't even yawn once. Uh, unfortunately, uh, when I picked up some group members, we did a, a multi-group multi, multi -group action, I started falling asleep. Uh, those whirlwinds are pretty hypnotic, and unfortunately... Um, group play is still slow enough that I fall asleep, but uh, good news is solo play is pretty damn cool. Uh, I really enjoyed the extra incentive, um, and yeah, let me just show you a couple of the big things in the patch. Okay, so if you're playing World and Barb, just play World and Barb. That's that goes without saying. I picked up a, a few new pieces here. Uh, let me show you the belt first. This is uh, Thunder God's Vigor. Uh, so this is like string of ears because it has reduced damage from melee attacks by 18. That goes 10 to 20. And the stats are pretty much on par with string of ears otherwise. But also you get this cool thing over here. 50% chance to cause a shock pulse uh, to erupt from your enemies when you hit them. This does work with every single one of your attacks. The shock pulse does like maybe about 5 to 6k damage. Uh, I think it can crit, but it's really hard to tell because I just have so many attacks when I play Whirling Barb. But anyway, I think this is one of the coolest belts I've ever seen. Uh, I'm definitely using it. I dropped like 50 million on this one, and I don't really feel that bad about it. Basically, it's just really awesome. The shock pulse percentage goes from 20, 25 to 50, and the melee damage reduction is from 10 to 20. So it's a pretty damn good roll, and that's why I spent so much. Uh, another thing is, I got my new helm and Daryl's Visage. So what did I do with my old helm? I sold it yesterday for 140 million. Today, worth much, much, much less than that because it did not have a socket. So you have to keep in mind, uh, sockets now just ramped way, way up in value when it comes to um, uh, when it comes to the value of a helm. Um, when you're doing PVE, you're going to want the extra XP. When you're doing PVP, you're going to want that extra HP. And uh, in neither case do you want a helm without a socket. So sold my own without a socket. Uh, and bought this one, Enduro's Visage, this cost me about 80 million. Uh, Enduro's Visage is pretty cool, it's got the attack speed and crit, uh, that's still there, it's got the high strength, uh, but it's also got more more stats uh, than the other one did. Uh, so this one came with a socket, um, that's why it was so expensive. And there's a pretty interesting stat over there, 16% more fire damage taken. Yeah, so Molten is pretty deadly, but because they nerfed most of the content a little bit, um, I was able to stay alive with this stuff, 700 all resists and 34k life. And uh, I had a death here and there, but nothing nothing too out of control. I managed to make it up just fine. And 27% chance to cause a poison over when you're hit. Uh, it's a pretty tricky one. It does seem to add some damage, so it's pretty awesome. I really like what they did with some legendaries, but some others are pretty lame. So... Um, you know, maybe they'd like to spice those up in the future. Now, on the gem topic, the XP gem does affect the Paragon level experience that you gain, and it is incredibly important if you want to take this shit seriously. What I actually did last night is I purchased uh, I purchased eight of these gems and um, sold them today. I made like double. Um, I don't know if that'll work for too much longer. But uh, if you're planning on buying one and you don't have one, you might want to wait a little bit. Maybe get a little bit cheaper if you're on a budget. Uh, not a few things when it comes to legendaries. There's a few really cool ones out there. As you probably know, the uh, Firewalkers, they have the burning patch on the ground. But that's, you know, that's kind of low damage. Uh, most of these, like, super special 
you know, legendary affixes, they just don't do that much damage. So it's mostly for the fluff. It does help a little bit, but you know, don't don't get too out of control. While a few legendaries were, were buffed, uh, some were buffed more significantly than others. Uh, things like the storm shield come up. Uh, things like the like the level 13 Leoric ring, 30% XP. Some of the stuff is out of control. And while you may not think so today, uh, I'm telling you about a week from now. Uh, unfortunately, for those of you that have played for a while, a lot of your gears are going to become uh, much, much less valuable if you had like the mid to top end gear prior to the patch. So that's kind of a big downside for those who've been playing. But those who want to pick up the game again and want to continue playing, uh, it's it's a pretty nice experience. Uh, the items have a lot more flair, and that really that really is awesome. Now. Uh, when it comes to the uh, Paragon experience, I just want I just want you guys to have an idea about how long it takes to level up. Um, so I got to level seven, uh, no big deal. But what I did was I timed a full Act Three clear, and I quantified how much experience I got. So full Act Three clear for me was about 50 minutes, and it gave a little over 25 million experience. Now, when it comes to Paragon levels, each level has this independent experience requirement. So the amount that you need to fully level up, uh, I don't remember exactly, I think it's 10 billion, something like that, I don't know. Whatever it is, I did the math just roughly, and if I play 14 hours a day, straight Act 3 grind all day, every day, 14 hours a day, it will take approximately 30 days at that rate to get Paragon level 100. Uh, I think that's a good spot. That's a little bit more than it took uh, to get uh, level 99 on um, on LOD and Diablo 2, and I think that's a pretty good spot for the hardcore. So uh, I don't think I'm going to go through with that, you know, as a rush. But every now and then, when I'm going to play some Diablo 3, I'm just going to feel a little bit better about it, and uh, I hope you guys feel the same. I really think the patch uh, does the game a lot, but it does fall short on some incentives. Um, I really think there should be some kind of Paragon level ladder because that would that would really push people to play the game. People would love that shit. People want to compete. Paragon levels, that's a long way from where Diablo was two days ago. But it's not all the way there, and I hope uh, I hope the Blizzard uh, development team keeps up what they're doing and does it fast enough to keep most of the players that the game still has. So, hopefully you guys have some fun, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.